It is said a weak man waits for opportunity, while a hard man makes it his own. In this world of paper cuts and ergonomics, I ponder the man with the will, the courage, to seize the unforeseen possibilities of chaos. Such a man does not simply take the road less travelled, but uses his charm and swagger to lure it in any direction he wants. Gentlemen, please, a moment of your time. The ability to adapt and work in different ways and, and not be sort of stuck doing the same repetitive uh, actions and whether or not that's, you know, translated specifically just into drawing or whether or not you're, you know, creative on a skateboard or creative in your own sort of personal way, whether that's writing or anything. It's like, for me, like, that's how things evolve. That's how things get better and better and better. Like, if, you, if you're not creative, you're not, you, you get stuck in a rut. As a kid, uh, I'd be incredibly distracted. Uh, and the only thing that I could sort of manage to concentrate on for more than five minutes was definitely just drawing. It's as soon as something's seen from a different sort of angle and, and sort of taken into a different perspective, uh, you know, it has potential to be quite beautiful. Parachutes have this sort of like double, like they're really beautiful and graceful, but at the same time, there's also this sort of uh, tragic flip of a coin, you know. For example, there's a hockey fight in front of me. You know, something that is harsh and rough and, you know, taken out in a completely different context and it can be quite beautiful to watch. Same with like a house fire or something like that. I mean, it's a, you know, it's a tragic thing, but I mean, aesthetically, it's, it's, it's kind of stunning to watch. It's, you know, something I probably think about way too much. A man may drift along in his life and choose to avoid all the chaos and strife. But the man who fights and swings for his dream is a raging river that swallows the stream. I've just noticed your tattoo. The boxing glove with your dad's name. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is, uh, is dad the guy that got you into this whole yeah, caper? Yeah, dad sort of grew up in that sort of uh, lifestyle, I guess. Uh, in uh, Boxing you know. lifestyle, brawler. He's pretty much had a Jackie Chan sort of like montage of his life. You could pretty much say, yeah. He's, you could uh, cut a good action sequence together. You could together. definitely, yeah. He's, um, he's got some stories to tell, that's for sure. Do you think your work in the gym actually helps you and translates into your creative work? Yeah, most definitely. I can just come in. Rhythmical just move, pounding. Exactly, just, just move around to some music, just get everything out of me so that I can then sit down and concentrate. I need to do the, the both of them to keep that balance. You know, I've got to, I've got to definitely keep moving. You know, you, you stop thinking about all the noise and you, you can then focus on other things, you know. Mm. This sort of repetitive work sort of filters everything out, you hone yeah. it, and then perhaps an epiphany or some sort of idea yeah, comes yeah, out definitely. of the fray. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's working yeah. for you. You're smashing it. Yeah. Both thanks. literally and <laughs> metaphorically. It's good. Yeah. It's good. It just seemed like a very natural progression. It was, it was just a really interesting challenge for me to sort of adapt my illustrative style uh, onto skin. It was, it's incredibly challenging, it's very difficult. Um, and it's a completely different sort of uh, artistic experience. And it's something that I really enjoy doing um, still. And I, I really, really love learning more about that craft. For someone to see so much value in your work that they want to have it for life, I mean, that's great. That's, that's an awesome compliment to see that, uh, you know, the work that you're doing translates and people can connect to it in some way or another. Um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> Some men sling fists while others sling ink. 
These are fellows who dare to inflict, to contradict. These men are born in the month of March right up, with their course already charted long before their beards are grown. These men are born with destiny already half in their minds, steady hand at the ready, while Bedlam barks at the door.